Hello YouTube, it's Monday the 26th of May 2008, I'm Dominic Smith, M0BLF, and I'm going to start by saying thank you and welcome to my new subscribers. Now those of you who watched uh, three weeks ago might recall that I bought some radio wire at the Dartmoor Radio Alley. Well the following day, that's uh, Tuesday the 6th of May, I buried that radio wire, and uh, this is the story of, uh, of how I did that. Right, hello everyone, um, and here we are in my parents' garden in Devon. Um, I don't think you can see it, but just behind my head is um, my Hustler 6B TV um, vertical antenna for 80, 40, 30, 20, 15 and 10 metres. Um, very efficient vertical antenna, um, and uh, does quite well. But, um, like all vertical antennas, one thing it does need is uh, to be on a nice, um, nice low resistance ground. Um, and, uh, well, this, this garden doesn't provide that, unlike, oh, like most gardens. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, the job for today, is to uh, lay some radio wire. Now, in theory, the uh, vertical antenna really ought to be placed on a very, very low resistance surface, surface so like a, a plain piece of metal just under the ground or even on top of the ground. Um, now that's obviously not really practical for most people. So uh, yeah, so we, we're going to lay some radio wires um, down just below the ground surface um, just to help re reduce the resistance of the ground and to help the, uh, help the vertical to work a bit better. At least that's the theory. Okay, well here's the uh, copper wire that I bought at the radio rally. Um, got 50 metres here another 50 metres um, just over there. Um, first thing I'm going to do though is put this aside and uh, I'm going to start marking out on the, on the patio here um, with chalk uh, meters which will just be to help me, uh, help me measure it out. Here's a helpful and rather unnecessary hint. Um, try not to get this stuff tangled because it's a nightmare. By the way, health and safety people would probably say I ought to be wearing safety goggles for this because the wire keeps on springing back in your eyes. Once the wire's untangled, uh, it should be possible to just measure it out using the uh, chalk marks we've already marked down. Right, when we come to where we want to be, when we come to the nation that we want, uh, this is going to be one of the radials for the 20 metre man, so it uh, needs to be 5 metres long. Let's snip it up, then we can do the next one. Right, and once we've uh, done all the cutting of all the wire, um, this is coated uh, wire, it doesn't matter, but just need to uh, obviously bear off the end so we've got something to connect to. Okay, and the next step um, is to take the bed ends of wire. What I'm just going to do is to uh, put one of these little crimping rings onto the end of it. And then finally solve that in place. Again, health and safety purists would say uh, this ought to be a well ventilated room and I'll be wearing eye protection, but there you go. Right, um, all of the radials now laid out. Um, all in here. Um, and so let me just explain what I've got here. I've got two 20 metre long radials, so for 80 metres. I've got three 10 metre radials, uh, two 7.5 metres, two 5 metres and one 2.5 metres long. 
so uh, that should cover all of the bands. Well, I've lost wire. <laughs> I haven't quite realised how much it was, but um, anyway, I'm going to go and have a glass of water, because it's about 22 degrees out here, and um, then we'll get them dug in the ground. This is the uh, base of the Hustler Vertical. Um, now, the theory was that having taken our um, bits of wire with the uh, rings on the end, they would attach onto the base. Being the completely impractical person I am, however, um, I've managed to get rings on the wrong side for the thread. So um, I'm going to come with a temporary fix and sort that one out later. Now to cut the line into the grass, I'm just putting the spade in just down into the topsoil and wiggling it slightly. You don't need to go too far down, all you're trying to do is to make sure it's down below the grass level uh, so it doesn't upset any lawn, blo nor lawn uh, blades or anything like that. Once you've got the line cut, just need to put the wire down and fit. I say make sure it goes down far enough. So any lawn or blades and things won't be impeded by it. Just make sure it goes down. That's the uh, job done. Um, didn't take too long, but uh, very hot day. Um, ten radials, on, radials are installed. Um, I should point out normally you put radials like in a 360 degree circle, but because the air was in the corners of the garden, we've only been able to use 90. But hopefully it'll be an improvement. We'll have to see later.